Hello, I am Itai. I am a programmer in the Robo's East First Lego League team. This is the first episode in the series that will explain the program that we use in the competition. This is mainly for those people who already know the basics, those who know regular movements, flow control, and preferably have experience working with sensors. It is also mainly aimed at FLL teams. In this series, we will talk about how to turn using the gyro sensor and to an angle, how to move along the path of an angle, how to move according to XY coordinates, and how to turn along the circumference of a circle according to the radius. Here is an example robot to show how the program operates. As you can see, it is very basic and there is only one sensor, being the gyro, and the robot uses this to move accurately along the field. If you look closely, you'll see that at the end of each square, it is in almost exactly the same location. This is what we will be teaching you to do over the course of the series, among other things. We can also do some more complex movements, such as turning along the circumference of a circle with precision, in such a way that we always end up at the same point. We will also be teaching you how to do this in the following episodes. In this series, we will be talking a lot about my blocks. My blocks are essentially a lot of different regular blocks compacted into one. This makes the code a lot smoother and nicer to read, as well as easier to debug. So let's look at an example. In our programs, we often need to know how far the robot has traveled. The easy way to do this is to measure how much the wheels of the robot have rotated, but there are two problems with this. The first is that we have two wheels, and when the robot turns, one wheel turns more than the other. So what we can do is read both motors and calculate the average. So now we have to use the maths block to bring it all together. And so what we have to do is we have to go to maths block and select advanced. What this does is it gives us four inputs and it allows us to make our own formula. So all we have to do is a plus b divided by 2. And then you plug the two different motors into the A and B ports. The other problem we have from this is that it gives us the number of turns that the motors have done, not the actual distance the robot has travelled. So we can calculate the distance by multiplying the number of turns by the circumference of the wheel. In this case, the circumference of the wheels we use in our robot is 29.05, so we just multiply the formula by that. Now we need to measure the size of the wheels on your robot. A good way to find the circumference of your wheels is to make the robot move forward 10 rotations and measure how many centimeters or inches for Americans the robot has moved. Then you divide this result by 10 to find the average distance and plug it into the maths block. So what we have here is a very useful piece of code that we need in many places in the program. However, instead of copying it everywhere, we can turn it into what's called a my block. The way we do it is to select the group of blocks which you wish to change into a My Block. With them highlighted, you go up to the Tools tab and select My Block Builder. In this tab, there are several options. You can change the icon, like this. And you can also add inputs or outputs that either give the my block information or take information from the my block to use in other locations. You can also rename the inputs and outputs to suit your own purposes. So for example, you can call an output output or an input input. So what we do for this block in particular is we set the icon to be this and then we remove an input and we have an output which we call distance distance and then you can also go and change the icon of the output so we can do something like that like this for the purposes of this program we're going to use this then you just put in the name which in this case is motor read and hit finish and here's your new my block now all you have to do is take this wire that's coming out of maths block and plug it into the output section and now you can use this sequence of blocks anywhere, just using this tab at the bottom. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and please share with your teams.